So, hi there. <laughs> I'm pretty due for a Twitter video, except there's nothing done on Twitter, so I'm just gonna kinda make a different kind of video, but similar to my sort of branding. There isn't much drama or anything to really comment on, basically, because I live under a rock. But, um, I'm gonna come here with uh, Sakudo's guide, or Emmy's guide to dealing with drama and how to professionally, in my opinion, go with it. This is all my opinion, by the way. If you can share your own, like, share your own idea of how you would deal with these things and what you think might be best. But coming from someone who has heard many apologies, not just online, um, and many people who have misunderstood their lapse in judgment, uh, Okay, so to start it off, obviously, let's say you're the main cause of the drama, you did something bad. Now, what you should do is don't leave the internet, don't make a giant dramatic like thing about it, like, Oh, I just gotta take a break, guys. This is eating at my heart right now, and I just can't do it. No, you don't do that. <laughs> you literally just go, well, this is what I would do. Hi. Uh, I'm aware that I probably did something wrong. Please tell me what I did wrong. I will give my side of the story and I will apologize. Because if it's something you're aware of and you, that you actually did and you know it's bad, you apologize. You have to apologize when that happens. Um, but if it's like, oh, I did it by accident. I didn't know about this. Still apologize, obviously. But be aware that you know not everybody's gonna take your apology seriously so you might have to apologize multiple times but always be stern with your audience or whoever you're apologizing to and set ground like set boundaries and ground rules with yourself not like not with your viewers or whoever you're talking to you say like you guys tell me like what exactly all of you noticed that I did wrong? Again, if it's an accident, what did you notice I did wrong? And I'll be a lot more open with you guys. Like, stuff like that. Because that can actually, like, firstly boost morale within your community. And, um, it, like, boost morale, give you trust. And it can also uh, lead to you becoming, firstly, a better human just among your peers and friends and family. And a better content creator because you'd be able to understand your audience better. Know what they want. You can get, like, the most success out of that decision. Say you're caught in the crossfire of the drama. Okay? I don't necessarily think you would have to apologize, but if you do, like... Okay, I'll admit myself, I do barge into arguments a lot because I don't like arguments and I want to break them up. But in the end, I kind of just get caught in, caught, oh God, caught in the crossfire <laughs> as the, you know, thing progresses. It's not fun. Like, nobody likes that. And especially if you're not intentionally getting involved. Someone just drags you in. So it's never, it's never fun. But I feel like the way you should uh, handle with that situation, obviously, don't bring another person in there to help you. You ask the person politely who's dragging you in there in that situation like leave me out of it give your proof give your side of the story to why it's unorthodox to really be put into this situation as it's not okay and if you're absolutely innocent why just why be there in the first place someone just got you there or you did that but if you're like me and you barge into the conversation back out immediately <laughs> just don't get like too much or like too into it you know you don't really don't really want to make the situation worse here than it is you know now what if you're the victim or someone who's been affected by the person who is you know responsible for doing things that wronged you or wronged others well what you should do is 
keep your distance, but also talk rationally with that person. Be like, hey, you actually did something to me and I'm not okay with it. Sure, this is kind of like kindergarten teaching where you're just kind of like, if someone steals your stuff, you tell them to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> but for this, I guess, when you're a victim, you just need to like stand up to for yourself. And if there's another person involved that you know is okay, you stand up for them too. Because most of the time they don't stand up for themselves from personal experience. They just kind of sit there and whine. Gotta say, it kind of sucks. Now, I'll, I'm, I guess halfway through what I'm planning on, you know, talking about. But uh, sorry for rambling. I didn't make a script for this. I didn't have time. I just wanted to get a video made and done. Um, and I was actually, I'm gonna probably bring up a drama that I haven't looked too much into, so I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is what it is and all that and that. But uh, I watched Creep Show Art. I'm a fan of Creep Show Art, so I watched your video on um, the Toddy, James, and James Charles, all that. And like, it's the most recent one the, regarding James Charles, Toddy Westbrook, Shane Dawson, and I think Jeffrey Star. I can't remember exactly. I'll correct myself. But. Um, you know, she had a valid point even in just her title because they all correlate together. They all have major beef with each other. For God knows what reason, they just hate each other. The makeup community is a mess. That's why our community is slightly better, gotta say. Uh, <laughs> but I guess this is straying away from my original topic, but I'll come back to it. Just because James Charles is under fire again for something we don't know if he did or not, I'm not gonna go into it. Um, uh, it doesn't give them an excuse to be like, oh, we're better. Oh, we finally defeated the evil. No. <laughs> you know, half of me kind of thinks that part of the older drama between all of them sparked something inside of James like what he did because I feel like before all of that everything was kind of just fine you know Jeffree Star is a lunatic but like I'm not gonna get into that he was bad from the beginning but James I think he was fine I think he still is fine uh, but the thing is and I didn't watch the apologies again I didn't watch all that but I feel like they're the people trying to get into the situation. They're trying to barge themselves into the argument. And they're not doing anything about it. They're not trying to correct their actions. It's not okay, you know? You don't need to just barge in there for no reason. Because I feel like, the, and if they haven't done that, they're going to do that. It's, it's the makeup community. Now, I'm saying all of you are bad. <laughs> like, personally, if you can change your face and make it all look really cool and abstract good on you i'm an artist <laughs> you're good you're doing great um but yeah uh i guess the moral of the story is always stand up for yourself but also be reasonable with the people you're talking to that's the gist of it when you're dealing with drama be respectful to everybody around you even the person you hurt or the person who hurt you. Always be respectful. Unless they like killed your best friend or something. Then I don't think you really need to be respectful. But yeah. I, I don't know what this video is. I just wanted to make a video. I don't know. <laughs>